How's it going? My name's John Russell. I'm a photographer in my spare time. I'm also a massive passionate lover of Microsoft Flow and Microsoft Office 365 products. I'd like to take you through some guidance, mainly for beginners, on how to get the best out of Flow. Uh, you can contact me on john at jdrussellphotography.com or johndoesflow.com. I look forward to speaking to you and hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Bye. Hello, Francois. <laughs> Hello, John. Hello. Hello. So, uh, yeah, so I thought we'd just have a chat on uh, the start of, <laughs> excuse the baby in the background, uh, start uh, how to build a flow based on a form that I've created. Mm -hmm. So everything, everything starts at office.com. Mm -hmm. We've got applica we've got all your applications. The two that I use the most are forms and flow. Mm -hmm. So if we go into forms, I've created a form for photography requests. Mm -hmm. So I, I've used this. I've used this just now for uh, someone who wants to book me for photography. So I've mm -hmm. sent them to the link to this. They filled in all the details. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, I got an email uh, like this, telling me that that's her name and that she wants to book me for here i'll show you uh, i'll create the flow from 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 scratch yeah. so if we go automated from blank and it's going to be when a new response is submitted okay. so we choose the form so it's a photography request and then we need to get the responses mm -hmm. uh, get response details Again, choose the same form. Now, this is this is this start of this dynamic content. Uh, you've only got one one thing in here, and that is basically the response IDs for each one of the forms that gets filled in. So you can only choose one thing. So you choose that, and it puts this apply to each box around everything that you now do, because yeah. that means every time someone submits one, it's going to do this every time. Yep. Okay. So um, what I want to do first is um i want to send an appro i want to get an approval from me to say that um i approve the request okay because mm -hmm. uh, there's a possibility that i might not be free or mm. um whatever yep so start and wait for an approval we want to be first to respond the title is going to be um, so we can now start using the stuff that has been captured from the form. Mm -hmm. So here we have the person's name. So that person's name wants to book you for photography. Yeah, assign that to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be the one that approves it, and the details are um, so name has booked you for a photo shoot they need you from and i've now got the time so they need me from then to then mm -hmm. on the date can you do this approve or reject okay right. so now we need a condition so this is one of the control um, triggers control actions so there's a few of these in here but we're using condition for now that's basically if this equals this then do this or do this so we need to look at the outcome of the approval so as you can see as i've put in the approval step i've now got the option of, of, of stuff to pick from the approval. So the outcome, the outcome of the approval is equal to approve. Then I want to send an email. And this I want to send to the email address of the person who submitted the form mm -hmm. because they, they provided me with their email address. The subject is um, uh, John. John will happily take photos for you. 
Um, hi, name. Um, John will take photos for you on the date. And he is, as he is free that day, free on that day and time, um, he will provide a contract for you to sign in due course. But in the meantime, feel free to call him on. Uh, whatever. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's and that's cool. So, yeah. Go on. Can you add this to your calendar automatically from here? Uh, that's that's a good next step. So that's what I'm going to do. So the next thing I'm going to do now is add this to my calendar. So we create an event. And now this this is an important thing to note. When you when you search for things, so you've got the you've got the application that is being used here. So if we choose Office 365 Outlook, and then you've got all the things that you can do. When you are creating or using things, always use the thing that has the highest value in the version number. Mm -hmm. So this one is V4. So there's there's been previous iterations of this, but Microsoft um, say that you should be using the latest version. Yeah. Okay. So. We want to put it in my calendar. The subject is going to be um, name. The start time. Start time from. And then it's clever enough to add the date. You just put the date next to it. Mm -hmm. And then until. Oh, and again, the date, time zone is going to be GMT or BST, whatever is here. Mm -hmm. And required attendees, so I definitely need to be there. Mm -hmm. And we could put, we could if we wanted to, we could put an external email address to the person who's requested it if we wanted to, to put it in their yeah. calendar as well. But I don't, I don't think we really need to do that at this, no. this stage. So um, then, uh, um, so name. Okay. You've already got that. So. That, we just need the location, so we have the location already. Um, what is the name of full location? So that will populate the location for us. Um, uh, is there anything else we need to do? I don't think so. Um, we could maybe send an email to me just to say, just a quick email to say, um, this person's booked you, so I've just added a step by clicking on the plus button in between those two steps. So it's send an email, uh, send an email to me, and the subject is our name has booked you for photography and. Now there is, it does, in the emails, it does support HTML. In mm -hmm. the, in the, in the approval emails, it supports um, markup text, which is slightly different. So for instance, like if you wanted to put something in bold, it's, mm -hmm. it's three, um, oh, three asterisks. So uh, name, date, time. Location, email address, phone number. Uh, so, name. Date. 
Right. Um, from to to till location. Hmm. Uh, email address and phone number. Okay, so what we'll do now is we will take this form. Let's just give it, always remember to give it a name. Um, so photo um, test. Uh, what's quite cool as well is if you had any errors with the flow, mm. this, this flow checker button here, it would come up with a little red dot mm. and then you can click and it will take you straight to the location of where the flow is, where the problem is. Now, okay. also one other good tip to do, we're not doing it here because this is quite basic, but it's always a good idea to rename your, your steps here. Uh, and, okay. and what I do is, so for instance, this one is, um, uh, rename uh, email to customer mm -hmm. and then and then when 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 and if you you need to use it again you'll see mm -hmm. that when it selects it, it 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 will tell you that it's coming from that location um, yeah. uh, so what we'll do is whiz through the uh, form submission here for you uh, not very interesting so it's on speed up So let's submit that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, an email to approve. There's the first one. We should get a second one in a minute. So do you have like an approve or reject button on the email? Yeah. Engine? Yeah. So it's here. Yep. Oh, cool. So I can approve that. Now it's gonna go down the approval workflow. There you go. That's better. So I got my. Got my email saying who it's for, when it's for. Mm -hmm. I need to and probably do a bit more formatting. And I should, in theory, if I go to the 21st of the 9th, there we go. You got it. That's me's photo shoot in the correct location, which is pretty nice. Lovely. There you go.